Hi there, I am John Hodges. I work for Hope Communities as a marketing and administrative specialist, uh, but only about 10 hours a week. I am otherwise retired. And I want to introduce you to uh, today to a book and an author that I really enjoy. Uh, the book is called The Seven Wonders, A Novel of the Ancient World by Stephen Saylor. I would show you the cover of the book, but I don't have it. I uh, bought the book uh, on Kindle, so that's where I read it, and um, you can pick it up there too for only $7.99. Uh, this book is uh, part of a series. It's the first of a series called Roma Sub Rosa. Uh, Sub so Rosa meaning secret or covert. Each book in the series takes place around a specific big event in Roman history and features big names that uh, we've all heard of, like uh, Cicero, Pompey, Cleopatra, Mark Antony, Julius Caesar. The protagonist is called Gordianus. Uh, later on, he will be called Gordianus the Finder. Uh, essentially, he's a private investigator, but that's sort of anachronistic uh, to call him that. Gordianus is a Roman citizen who has just turned 18, and he sets out on a grand tour to see all seven wonders of the ancient world and finds himself solving little mysteries everywhere he goes. Gordianus has a traveling companion, an old man uh, named Antipater, who is actually a, a real person in Roman history. He's a Greek poet who, who lived in Rome. As they travel from wonder to wonder, they either stay with the uh, friends of Antipater or they stay in uh, motel sixes of the, the time. Uh, you know, nice inns if they can get them, and, you know, often they can't. So um, they end up meeting a lot of different people uh, of different uh, social status, um, different customs, different countries, um, and they're all described really, really well. And... Um, I think you'll enjoy that part. I certainly did. In part, this is also a coming-of-age story for the young Gordianus, who starts out pretty naive and uh, has some experiences that uh, help him grow up pretty fast. Um, it is interesting. The author, Stephen Saylor, uh, studied history and classics at the University of Texas in Austin. He thoroughly researches uh, all of his books. So it's going to be authentic. If, if he talks about a custom, it's something that uh, he can show through his research uh, was at least common in the, at the time, or at least happened at the time. Uh, it doesn't read like a standard history book, though. Uh, it's his, his prose is, is really quite beautiful in places. Let me just read the description as the ship enters the harbor of Halicarnassus, where one of the uh, wonders was located. In the month of Aprilis, the color of the water changes from moment to moment, depending on the sunlight, from a harsh lapis blue to the iridescent green of a butterfly's wing. Sometimes, at dawn or dusk, the calm sea takes on a metallic luster, like a sheet of bronze beaten perfectly flat. Myself, I have always loved history, and I have always loved mysteries. So this, you know, was a natural fit for me. This book is available in hard copy at the Denver Public Library, but uh, not, uh, not downloadable. Anyway, if you have any interest in history or mysteries, or especially both, I think you are going to uh, love this series. And that's all, folks.